Happy Easter. Start with that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, John Rice, can you just talk about the, the quarterback competition this spring? How do you uh, feel you uh, fared? And also, uh, I think a lot of people thought, hey, this guy's just a running quarterback. But I mean, you, as as uh, uh, Mikey just said, you were slinging it around today. Uh, start with the, the quarterback competition. It's been really good. Uh, it's been really fun to, to, to get to know Mikey and get to know Coach Lindsey and Coach Malzahn and, and Tommy and Parker and, and Joey when he was in there. It's been a really, really, really fun spring. Um, learned a lot from, from Mikey and Coach Lindsey and Coach Malzahn. Those obviously great offensive minds. And when you put them all together, you kind of get something that's pretty special, you know. And so um, to be able to be in that, those rooms with those guys, it's, it's really special. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I, I think uh, – I'll disagree with what people have did to say. Sense that, did, did you sense that that's what people thought about you? Or? Yeah, people always got their, their opinions and they're entitled to their opinions, but uh, I choose to believe mine instead. You had the performance say that, look, you know, I was impressed with how you threw the ball. You had a couple nice long touchdown passes. How did you feel like you looked today? Um, when you got guys that, that can make plays, it makes it easy on you. You know, ever the Coach Lindsey always says is the, the quarterback, the offensive coordinator, I mean the, the head coach, the, the offensive coordinator, the quarterback get praised heavily and, and then uh, get torn down heavily as well. And so um, when you got a guy like Flash that can run over the middle and, and run a deep post to be wide open, you can just basically kick it to the guy. You know what I mean? It's, it makes it easy on you. And, um, everybody loves to, to praise up the quarterback, the head coach, and the OC, but um, you don't see a lot of the stuff that the, the guys up front are doing to pro it up. Um, to give you time to do it, and, and then Flash and, and JG and Kobe being able to run past people and, and make it easy on you. John, you basically just arrived here, you know, start practicing with the team in the spring, and now that we've been through, you know, up to here to this point of the spring game, got to ask whether it's, you know, from something you've been watching from Mikey or some sort of wisdom you got from uh, Coach Malzahn, is there anything in particular you've learned since you've gotten here that you've kind of applied to some of your su success today? Chris? Uh, yeah, they're, I mean, um, big in protections. I didn't really, uh, have a, a full grasp on protections right when I got here and obviously there's a lot of rust that comes with it too because I haven't done it in a year um, but pr the protection piece of it has really been something that I've been able to to make a big leap in um, uh, and it's something that, that has been rewarding as well when you know you're protected you can you can stand back there all day and you know, those guys up front do a good job prone it up and so um, I would say protections I feel like I, that's what I've gotten probably the most the uh, most better at. Joyce, right, so was there a moment this spring where maybe things clicked for you? Obviously, you're coming in, full-time quarterback again, new system, new offense. Did, was there a moment? Did it take a, a little week or so, or when did things start to click? Um, my heart's always been a quarterback, you know, and so uh, when I got the opportunity to do it again, um, I just kind of ran with it. That's what I, that's what I want to do. It's what I've always wanted to do as a kid, and so uh, given the opportunity, I would say the opportunity itself is what, what helped me click to get back in, in doing what I love. And so that's, I feel like it's a, um, how I feel. John Rank, you, you were out, of, you didn't play quarterback last year, but was that an opportunity for you to maybe step back and look at the position and kind of see some things and grow a little bit and you're going to take something from that? Yeah. Maybe that you're taking with you right now. For sure. Obviously, um, being able to, to, to be in the offense with Coach Kiffin and, and Coach Levy there, you learn a, a lot of stuff, really good offensive minds. And um, Matt Corral is a really good quarterback, and so you get to watch him, how he how he goes about his business. And it's been uh, something that I could I could learn from, you know, watching the things that he did and uh, then getting here and watching film about Mikey and, and uh, taking advice from Coach Malzahn and Coach Lindsey. You kind of get molded like a like a piece of clay a little bit, and you, you, you kind of get shown as the final product. But um, the molding of everything else that put together is kind of what gets you there. Jumping into this offense with uh, with Gus, how much do you like it, and you know how good can you guys be when you look at the talent around you? Uh, I love the offense. It's it's really awesome. It's uh, I think people know Gus Malzahn is, has a really good offense, so um, don't really need to go into it that much uh, there because I think everybody knows that that he is, definitely is a really good offensive mind. Um, with the talent and the pieces that we have, I feel like uh, we're going to score a lot of points. That's all I can say about it. Um, I, I know that we have the, the talent and the, and the the bodies and the personnel to, to do really, really big things. It's just about execution. John Harris, you said how you want to play quarterback. You feel like you have something to improve. UCF also, similarly, feels like they have something to improve. Do you feel like your vibes, for lack of a better word, match the vibes of the program here? Yeah, I feel like uh, anything you do, um, I think you do it best when you have a chip on your shoulder. You know, and so um, to be able to, to, to carry a chip on my shoulder is something that um, I've always kind of uh, 
strive to do. You know, and don't don't ever lose the chip on your shoulder, no matter where you're at. And to, to be here at uh, UCF, where the feeling is matched, there's a chip on your shoulder to to um, to be the best team that we can be to, to prove everybody um, that we are contenders. And so um, I'm really excited to do that. How fast are you? Uh, everybody likes to say that. Everybody likes to say I'm moving pretty quick. Um, uh, I, I like to, to run fast when the big guys are chasing me. I feel like that's when I feel like I run the fastest when the big scary guys are chasing me. What's your best 40 time? I haven't run a 40 in a long time. Um, I, I ran a 40 when I was getting recruited out of high school, and I was back when I was skinny, and I was probably a little shorter then. And it was a 4.39 on a hand time, but that that could be anything, you know. I mean, somebody could have sneezed and, and hit the timer. But, uh, <laughs> if I had to throw a number at you, that was that was way back when. So whatever it looks like now, I'm unsure. What are, you, what are you thinking when you when you get to a program like this and you see them the way they do things like today having the special jerseys with the code on the back? I mean, what is that? What's kind of go through your mind when you go to a program and you see those kind of things? Uh, really neat. Like it, it is very apparent that um, uh, we are doing stuff here that is not happening anywhere else. Uh, I think Mikey said it, the future of college football. I mean, it's, it, they, they say it all the time, but um, it's one thing to say it. It's, one, it's another thing to, to actually do it, you know? And so nobody's nobody's ever done that. Nobody's even ever thought of that. And now that um, they're putting us in a position where, hey, this is this guy's not only number, his last name, but this is his, his uh, how you get in contact with him, how you can follow him. And, and um, it just, it's just, it's really cool to see um, how they are, uh, putting us players on a platform where people can, can get a hold of us. That's really neat. You know, you mentioned those big guys chasing you, you know, the defense. As a quarterback, you know, you have a unique perspective in practice watching the defense. Um, how do you feel like they've evolved from the beginning of the spring to now? What kind of development have you seen from your position? Um, I feel like that we've got some dudes over there, for sure. Um, obviously, Jeremiah is one that obviously pops out, you know. Um, there's a couple times where I've got out of the pocket, and uh, a lot of times guys have the angle on me, and I can usually outrun the angle, and Jeremiah is always right there in my back hip. And so um, to see him be able to make plays like he's making, um, run the defense over there, it's, it's really cool to see. Um, as far as the D-line and the DBs, we've got dudes all over the place, you know. And so um, it's really been, it's been really cool to, to, as we install, you know, we put in stuff, they install as well. And so um, you come out thinking you know what they're going to do, and they have completely different and so on, and they get you on some stuff. But um, overall, we've got some really good dudes over there that are definitely going to make some plays. You're competing head to head with Mikey. Are you guys getting the quarterback room and watch the film afterwards? So when you look at Mikey, what impresses you the most about his game? Uh, so he's a, a – like, he, he last year he was the guy, right? So he, he had to do it. He was throwing the fire. Um, but at the same time, he's still a young guy, right? And so you get in and um, – I really didn't know what to expect, you know, right when I got here. But uh, football knowledge, he has a lot more than I thought he was going to have. That's not a slight to him in any in any way, but um, he's a really smart guy. Um, obviously, can throw the ball really, really well. And um, I think this year in the spring, he's he's done a lot better at extending plays with his feet. I don't know if y'all got to see it as much because he could be up there and, and the practices where they're where they're locked up. But um, he's done a really good job of extending plays with his feet. When he was here, uh, Amari described you as a game freak or a video game freak. I'm curious to know what your thoughts of that uh, description are. Uh, that that is uh, a compliment, I would say. Um, I, I appreciate it. That's 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 fun to think that your teammates think of you like that. But um, I, I feel the same way about him. Uh, he caught a couple of screens today that I didn't really think were going to go anywhere, and then all of a sudden he's sticking his foot in the ground and going north and south and getting 35 at a time. And so um, to see guys do that, it makes it easy just to be like, here, you can have it, and just let them run. You know what I mean? So if this puts a wrap on spring, the next game you're going to play, you're going to play through me a real game right. inside the bounce house. How exciting is that for you as you look to the summer and the season will be here before you know it. you got to be really excited. Yeah, I'm pumped up. The, uh, you obviously, like, you hear about what the bounce house is like and what the what the home field advantage is here. And it's something that I can't wait to experience, you know. Um, you hear about people literally, I, 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 it was called the bounce house, and I was like, oh, that's a cool name. But people actually say people jump up and down in there. And so I was like, okay, I can't wait to, to experience something like that. I can't, uh, I think it's pretty special. And so we're ready to experience it for sure. Also, thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. God bless. Thanks, Happy Easter. You too.